I'm Jesse Sinsack. And I'm Lila Ibrahim. Welcome to Beyond the Metal, the AP's complete coverage of the 2010 Winter Games. We are in the second full week of competition, and there's a lot to talk about, so let's get right to the news. Team USA beats Canada 5-3, and that is a big win for the U.S. team. While the loss was not the end of the world for Canada, it does mean that they have to play an extra game while the U.S. wins the bracket and gets a bye. To win the gold, the only acceptable outcome for Canadian fans, Team Canada has to win four consecutive games. Canada is now seeded sixth and plays Germany. The U.S. will be either the number one or number two seed. The Americans and Canadians want to make this a North American Olympics for ice dancing. American ice dancers Meryl Davis and Charlie White are going into tonight's competition in second place. But first, they will have to win a showdown with Canadians Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. Neither American nor Canadian couples have ever won an Olympic gold in ice dancing. While the Russians could leave the Olympics for the first time in 50 years without a gold medal in figure skating. Canadians are raising the white flag on the Own the Podium program. The head of the Canadian Olympic Committee said that Canada won't finish first in the medal count and that it's unrealistic to beat the Americans. Heading into today's competition, Canada is tied for fourth in the medal standings with nine. The Americans lead with 24. Remember to stick with us at wintergames.ap.org for all your Olympic coverage and check out all the fun stuff that Lila and I have been up to here in the host city. That's right. Today you can watch as Jess and I go dog sledding up in Whistler and then we head to Vancouver Island for a little whale watching. And trust me, we see a ton of whales, so check it out.